Hey, what's going on everybody? Sheep here back again, back today with another ARC episode. And as you guys can see, right behind us, we got a beautiful, big, old Rexy boy. Yes. In the last episode, I've claimed that we would fight the Megapithecus in Gamma and Alpha form. Beta is a no-no. Yes, we are still going to do that, but I do want to make a couple changes before we go right into the fights. Let me go and actually throw down, uh, let's do... Sure, that many Rex eggs. I've been stocking up on some Rex eggs, uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we got quite a lot, and all the basically the whole Rex army is just breeding and uh, mating right now and uh, popping out babies. So, anyways, this is the Rex that we did level up last episode. This was the total stats that it came out with. This Rex actually had 60,000 HP. I went ahead and upgraded it because I feel like 60,000 HP with just Prem Saddles are not going to be enough. So, how much HP do I want? I think it's going to be 80,000. Um, I do know a map that has a better rec saddle if I just think the armor is 49 of a rating. Um, I can't craft any skill that, so all the rec saddles can have like 75. So anyways, I think I'm going to hop over on Extinction really quick just to craft up a bunch of rec saddles because uh, I do not got the resources in the space. The uh, replicator over on Extinction does and just that base has so much resources in general. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And, uh, well, there we go. Oh boy, let's just, um, kill them before they become too healthy. And there we go. So, very similar to the Giganotosauruses, I will feed around 20 Rexes to each and all of the, um, Rexes. 80,000 HP? God, that's 69. Uh, oh boy. Is there another Rex there by chance? No, there isn't. Okay, uh, I'm gonna back off with this Rex for now, saying that how leveled it is. I might not even use this, saying that it has 20,000 HP. Like I was saying, I don't think I'm gonna might, or I might not use this Rex, saying that it is 11,000 HP off. Uh, I probably will still use it, because it, it, it does have a lot of melee. I, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. But I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys over on Extinction, so we can make 20 Rex okay saddles, I guess. They're better than nothing, or they're better than primitive, so yeah. Uh, oh boy. Maybe it might be a change of plans, because this saddle's very, very expensive, uh, especially for only 41 armor. Yikes. I need fiber, metal, yeah. Hide. Hide comes not really that easily. Fiber also pretty comes... Again, fiber comes pretty easily, but metal, I don't know if I got metal in the space. Yeah, like, literally no metal. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to have to go on a metal run, or maybe I can go over to Aberration and farm up a little bit. Yikes! Uh, okay, so I had 115 Rex Saddle here the entire time. <laughs> Again, that's so many resources. I don't know if we can do that, guys. I don't know if we could grind out 20 of those. That's like a lot of resources. Yeah, let's do the math, sure. Why not? Siri, what's 20 times 1288? It's 25,760. Yeah, guys, I don't know if we can do that. Look, I'm a solo player. I've grinded that out before many times, but 20,000, 25,000 metal isn't really the best thing to do. Um, I think the most metal I've ever had at once was like 30,000, and I'm not trying to waste 25,000, 26,000 basically metal on a goddamn Rex saddle. Let's do the hide. Siri, what's 20 times 9,794? It's 195,880. Yeah, guys, I, I don't think we could do 200,000 hide. <laughs> we don't even have, like, 27,000 hide currently. Siri, so what's 20 times 5,000? That would be 100,000. Yeah, I could have done that, bro. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. That's too much. That's too much grinding. Maybe if I had a tribe uh, or a teammate, tribe mate, whatever you want to call it, maybe even one or two. Uh, but I don't think I could do that. The other Rex saddle's better, but yet again, yeah, just yet again, it's still pretty damn expensive. And, uh, oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's already six saddles. Um, uh, a couple of them are not good, of course. None of them will be the same exactly. So that's six saddles. Wow. I'm not going to bring that takeover, by the way. All right, so I think that's what we do. We go and look on different maps for certain saddles. Uh, for example, Extinction and... I think that's the only map. Um, Aberration can't spawn Rex Saddle Blueprints or Rex Saddles in general. So that, or this map, and Ragnarok? Ragnarok? Yeah, let's go over to Ragnarok. Let's go ahead and check. 
Uh, so I'll see you guys over on Rag. We'll probably find a saddle or two. I don't know. We'll see. But six saddles to start off with four good ones. All right. I like that. I'm not going to lie. I like that. Ah, three saddles. I think we had a giant Rex army somewhere. But uh, I do see some saddles. Or I do see a saddle on this Rex right here, so. So with four plus saddles, that now makes ten. I believe there's a Rex army somewhere. Um, We're gonna go find that really quick. Seriously, no saddles? There's not a single saddle on any of these Rexes. Lazy cunt. You know, we need a Bellasaurus too. We need a Bellasaurus, man. I don't have no mutton on me. There's mutton inside the terminal, man. Let me free. Some of you guys might be asking, why are you getting the Bellasaurus? Well, um, I don't have a Bellasaurus yet, and they're OP as shit. Especially when it comes to water. Uh, if it's imprinted and all that fun stuff. Um, it can basically destroy any island cave. Uh, or underwater. Saying that you can't get jelly stunned, or just stunned at all. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice little, uh, quick 20 minute aim. So, we got 10 wreck saddles in total. Uh, which means we just have to make 10 or more. Well, uh, technically 9. Uh, saying that one of the wrecks are already saddled, so we just gotta make 9 prim saddles. Um, I don't even have a pickaxe, really? Oh my god, I am a noob. But anyways, yes, nine wreck saddles coming up very shortly. Just gotta go get some metal, cause I still gotta get some resources. Cause this base is broke. I broke it all into the structures. Yeah. And well, that's a good amount of metal. And in you go. Beautiful. Give me all that shit. Yeah. And there we go. Ten wreck saddles for me. Thank you very, very much. And there we go. Ten wreck saddles. Wasn't I supposed to make nine? And there we go. Back at base with our couple of friendly creatures and hello noon Q. So let's go ahead and start saddling up some of these rexes. All the saddles are made. Uh, I just gotta level them up and then we can get straight into this Megapithecus fight. Um, but yeah, levels first and then fighting after. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. And uh, there we go. The final Rex has just been leveled. Uh, oh. Oh, I did one too many Rexes. Uh, I was only supposed to do 18, not uh, 19. Uh, because we're gonna bring the Reapers in the fight with us, both Gromantic and Lucid. Anyways, here's the total stats that I came out with. Uh, 70,000 HP and roughly around 13,000 melee which totals about to be uh, around 1,300 melee a bite. Um, which is very, very good. And that's not even uh, with mate boosts. There we go. So uh, there are the Rexes, ready for the fight. And I am ready as well. All the Rexes are lined up. All, uh, well, 18 of them. Again, two Rexes and then two Reapers up there. And yes, we will start the fight as soon as I get them cryopotted. All the creatures. Throw them out, and we can start this fight. So see you all at the blue obelisk. Um, so do I even need to give really much of a prep talk? Not really, it's just gamma. So why don't we go ahead and just get right into it? I don't even know if I can access this terminal. And it, yes I can. Oh, there's already an artifact in here. How much fun. I guess I put one in there last episode. Uh, well, gamma megapithecus, um, it's gonna be extremely easy. I don't even know what reaper this is. Oh. I, I don't even know if all my creatures are gonna fit. Well, either way, Gamma Megapithecus, uh, I don't, I, it's, it's gonna be a really easy fight. I'm not worried about it. I don't, I don't even know if I'm really worried about Alpha either. Look at all these Rexes. They're just so beastly. All of them. Some of them have good saddles too. Um, some really good armor saddles, so that's great to know. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Let's go into the fight. That was a really, uh, really fast download actually. Uh, let's go and put that on some fur so I don't freeze. Can I even get out of here? I I don't think I can. Well this is just gamma so why don't we 
why don't we do this and make sure they're all in passive too. Let's actually go over here. Oh, hi. No. I want a creature. Hey, dude. How you doing? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's up? What's up, bro? Again, this is Gamma, which means it's going to be a very extremely easy fight. And would... 360. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to be completely fine in this fight. Um, <laughs> I might be able to even solo this thing with just uh, Lucid here. You guys want to try? Um, might just be for, uh, I don't know, memes, I guess, but why not? Let's see how OP the Reaper is. So again, and nothing, unless that boulder can hit me, but anyways, nothing would really stop this um, Reaper, saying that he's only doing 96 damage. And this health is already 5% down, too, so... Interesting. Extremely interesting. Weird. Uh, okay. Anyways, as you guys mostly know, uh, every time we do do a boss fight, the stats will be turned down, uh, and they, I will take them off single player. I only have them on for breeding purposes, and ODS drops as well, because ODS drops are super hard to do. Um, especially when you don't have really good creatures. Although I do have a Giga, even he can't really do Onslaught or Omnomasaurus. Can't really do uh, Pink Drops solo, so. And how much health am I losing? What, what is that, 6,000? Six, 6,000, 6, this thing's losing more health than me. Um, <laughs> well, uh, okay, so, all right. We, we basically proved the point that Lucid by himself can solo this uh, Mega Pentacus on Gamma. Uh, maybe on, not on Alpha, but I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this um, out really quick. Yeah, I'm just going to clear go ahead and kill this Mega Pentacus off. Uh, and yeah, so we get on with the video. So why don't you go ahead and come over here, dude? So yes, again, we will do both Alpha and Gamma as we're doing it right now. Please be on passive. It's actually a signal of goal down there. There we go. Oh boy, that's fun. <laughs> he's self, he's so he's just a monkey. There we go, all right, now get in there. I wonder how uh, fast he's gonna die. That's a good question. I'm gonna go and turn off mud so my game doesn't completely frame out. I didn't even turn off mud. There we go. So let's take a note of this. It's what? Let, let, let's I don't know. Let's say it's been 15 seconds by now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at all these rexes. They're just so beautiful. I could already see blood on them too. Oh, yeah. This is definitely an easy fight. Um, in my personal preference, I actually do think Mega Pithecus is definitely easier than uh, please don't knock my rexes into the void. Uh, Mega Pithecus is definitely easier, and he's dead already. Oh my god. That's just so easy. Again, like I was trying to say, making Pithecus is definitely easier than the Broodmother. Uh, in my opinion, I do Broodmother first. I don't know. I don't really know why. Uh, I just do it. I just do it first. I, I, again, I don't know why. So let's go ahead and see what tech engrams we got just from Gamma. And we got all of these in total so far. So we don't have the chest or rifle. Uh, I would like a cloning chamber on this map, our transmitter wouldn't be bad either, and a couple other things I would like as well. But, uh, yeah. That's basically it. So, we do have to take a look into the dragon fight next episode, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So I'll meet you guys over at the dragon terminal to tell you guys what we really need. Isn't that just a bunch of fun? Um, but actually, before we do head over to the red office terminal, I do want to check one thing. Uh, make sure I'm not missing uh, anything from this uh, or the alpha fight that we will do in a bit. So let me go ahead and check that out. All of them last episode. Um, Thalaclaws, Theory, Spino, Megalodon, Megalodonia, and yet again all the artifacts. Yes, we did get all of those uh, in the last episode, right? Yes, yes, yes. And what did we get from the fight? We got a, another hat skin. Uh, cool. It's Christmas, so uh, sure, why not? Let's keep it on for now. Oh god, my character looks bald now. But anyways, uh, what do we get? We got 40 element and a big old monkey face. Very, 
Very, very fun. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys over by the Red Obelisk. So we can see and do whatever we need for the next episode. So I hope you guys are all excited for that. And here we go. You know, I actually kind of forgot that we had a base here. Um, it was kind of a big thing for the first three episodes, so... We still got a couple raptors too. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look in this. Let's try this. Alright, there we go. So, Artifact of Cunning, Artifact of Immune, Artifact of Skylord, and Artifact of Strong. Wow, that is a Ooh. That is some beefy artifacts right there. Um, Skylord is a broken artifact. You cannot get it on a host local server. Uh, Artifact of Immune isn't too bad. Cunning is terrible. And Strong is... I mean, I like doing the cave for supply drops anyway, so I'll probably go raid that whenever... I do that. That's a lot. That's this beefy artifacts right there. I might actually already have the artifact of strong. Um, I already know I have another artifact of immune and Skylord. Again, I just have the spawn in. Those are um. Oh, we're not even going to take a look at that yet though. But those are all broken. So this is what we need for fighting Gamma. Uh, again, all artifacts simple. Um, not even surprised. Oh boy, even just looking at beta. <laughs> Pretty it seems pretty intimidating. Um, so let's go ahead and look at Alpha Dragon. Oh boy, that is a lot of stuff that I see in there. Well, let's go ahead and go off from the top. Uh, other than artifacts, we need 10 Allosaurus brains. Easy. Uh, 10 Balasaurus blubbers. That's semi hard. 2 Giga hearts. I mean, I have the creatures to do that, I just have to find the Gigas. So that's a medium challenge. Uh, 10 Tusa Tentacles. I think I already got 8, so all I have to do is just go into the cave of the uh, Cunning, one of the underwater caves, and uh, kill a couple Tusas in there. And now that I got a Balasaurus, I just gotta level her up a little bit, and um, yeah, we're, we're basically good, because we can't get picked uh, with that thing. Uh, let's see, Tyranno Arms, very easy, and UD Lungs, again, very, very easy. Uh, oh boy, I don't, I don't like those artifacts, though. Those are some really hard artifacts to do. Um, especially for Artifact of Cunning and Strong. Those are probably the two worst ones uh, in my mind. Uh, both the land and water caves, so... Oh boy, this is going to be um, per a pretty damn long episode, saying that it's only just going to be two bosses. Anyways, you guys already saw the Gamma Megapithecus. Uh, that went really, really well, um, and very, very easy. And that, that was also with single player stats off. It, in fact, you can probably still see my mana healing because I turned it back on. Whenever you turn single player stats off, it does decrease the damage output, stamina, basically all the stats in general, uh, to a very low amount. But I do believe that it would be more of a fair fight and more entertaining to watch. And it would also be a longer fight, let's just say. But anyways, guys, we have a lot of artifacts to do and a huge episode ahead of us. <sighs> oh boy. Um, what what do we even start first? I I don't know. Maybe artifacts? Well, why don't we go ahead and see what artifacts we have and see if we have to actually do some of the artifacts. Because I know we have to do cunning for sure. And I think that's the only one that we have to do. I think I have uh, two of each other artifact. So let's go check. Now the reason, of course, why I am actually doing the, all the artifacts and the apex drops are, of course, to actually start alpha and just keep adventuring and, well, progressing through this arc, I guess you could say. But um, one of the other reasons as well is because I don't know how weak the Rexes are at that last Megapithecus fight. Um, I think they're all still pretty damn beefy, so... Yeah. But uh, just in case, I guess I could let them heal too. So let's just, again, get back to base and see what artifacts we got. And uh, whatever ones we don't have, we will do the cave, and of course, Apex drops the same thing. And there it is. Mostly everything for the fight. Uh, of course, we already got everything for Gamma, but yet again, we still need more stuff for Alpha. For example, we only got one artifact. Uh, I thought we actually had two. I thought I got Artifact of Strong. Apparently not. So we will have to do Artifact of Skylord, Strong, and Cunning all in this episode. Uh, we already have the Rex Arms, we are just missing one UD Lung. We are actually done with all the Saurus Brains and Tuso Tentacles as well, so we all we need is Balasaurus Blubber, and also Giganotosaurus' Hearts. Uh, we just need two of those, luckily. Yeah, just start all the artifacts. 
So I think I'm gonna start with the apex drops uh, and then I'll move to the caves. I already actually got all the dyros corral potted right here, our little squad. Um, the first cave that we'll probably do is Artifact of Strong, and we'll move to Artifact of Skylord, saying that that is a broken one I will have to spawn in then. I'm not going to wait this time, saying that I already basically waited and showed you guys that it's broken on uh, the server, so that d does suck. Yeah, Giganotosaurus hearts, uh, Balasaurus blubbers, I could do that all. Yeah, I just gotta find enough Balasauruses. Um, near the end of the video we'll do Cunning, and then near the end of the video we will do Alpha Megapithecus, of course. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take this big boy, and well, let's go ahead and get some gig hearts. So, uh, I guess instead we'll take this fast boy, and go kill some creatures. Yes. And here they are, terrorizing the creatures of the Ark. And uh, we got another one right next to me too. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill them for their gig hearts, of course, because that's what we need. Um, I don't think my mana can take them, or, although well, maybe. Should I? Uh, I, I don't know. But, uh, anyways, we don't even have to risk it, because we got Nom Nom source. Let's go and get on her. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy, here we go. This is a really cool RG, too. Too bad it just died. You want some, Giga? You want some? Come get some. Come get some. Yeah. Yeah, big on the source bites. So, uh, yeah. Not even a problem finding them. Uh, he can't even hit me right now, so that's... Easy kill on the Skiga. But, uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get their hearts from them. I already actually got one of the UD lungs, uh, so we just need Battle Source Blubber. And then that is it for all the Apex drops, actually. So, uh, yes. Let's go kill the other one. So anyways, like I said, all we need is Bellasaurus Blubber, which is um, kind of easy to get. Um, let me make sure I actually got that Giga Heart. Alright, there we go. One Giga Heart, please. But anyways, like I was trying to say, I don't think the uh, Bellasauruses are going to be... Um, I don't think we're going to do those next. Um, I think we're going to start on the land caves right now, because uh, when we go underwater, then we'll kill the Bellasauruses that we need. Uh, we need 10 to keep in mind so since we're already on land why don't we go ahead and do the artifact of strong really quick so i'll meet you guys over by the cave and we'll just do that and here we go so the last time we oh oh um okay there's some heavy creatures up front uh oh boy that's not fun but anyways like i was saying the last time we did do this cave uh we came in with a bunch of dyers came in with four one was called booming uh he died I believe and they all had around 7,000 HP this time around I think they all have 15 K this one has 16 uh, but that was my OG dire from uh, this map this one has 20 and this one has yes 15 um, oh boy there's actually quite a lot of creatures I don't really have that much shoddy kind of wish I brought some more but oh well let's just go ahead and uh, try to at least kill some There goes one. Ooh, oh boy, that's not fun. And hello, Raptor Claws. Now, yeah, we're not really looking for you too much. And there we go, the Starbuck is dead as well. Any other creatures? I believe there was a pearl, but yeah, I see tons of creatures. That is a beautiful Dire Wolf, by the way. Let's just go and get back. Um, you know what, have fun. I wonder if I could crawl up on my Giga in here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun time? Hey guys, god that one looks so cool. That is a beautiful dire. Sadly we have to kill it. God, I want to force tame that thing so bad. But uh, I'm sorry little dire. Maybe we will find you but again, but not now. Can I force tame this thing guys? I'm sorry! I want to so bad. We're dragging this body in. Beautiful colors too. So there is a couple more creatures back here. Let's see if I can bait them over. I uh, only got one more shoddy shell, but um... Ooh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. And that shoddy shell is just one more. There we go. I'm out. 
Let's see if we can go ahead and kill the star wolf with uh, just the rifle. There we go. And um, maybe we can now throw our giga in. Oh, I feel like he, he can fit. I definitely feel like he can fit. Oh boy. Oh boy, this tire is getting really far. This tire is getting really far. I don't, I don't even think I can poke with the pike. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this wolf really quick. So many beautiful Christmas creatures. Please, please stop. Here, you wanna, you wanna die? Oh boy. Hi again. Uh. Okay. Stop. Please, you're terrorizing me. All right, so this is probably a bad idea, but we don't have any cryo cooldown, so. Let's just, um, get him out. There we go, and put him on aggressive. There we go. There we go. There we go. How about you two? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just love this game so much. So now that we basically got the first part cleared, um, you guys have already seen this before. So I'm basically going to cut until the end or near the end or maybe when we ever or whenever we do end up uh, struggling, which I don't think we really will. Uh, I am freezing, by the way, so let's go and put this on. But uh, yes, that's basically it. I will, um, I will basically see you guys near the end. And a big old yellow drop. Let's see what it has in store for us. Dire Bear Saddle and also an Ichthy Saddle. Um, I probably won't ever use those. Maybe I might use the Ichthy, but I, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty costly, so probably not. Oh boy. Not gonna lie, I think it's gonna be a lot harder the second time around. Um, although we do have better wolves, so that is... <laughs> Got a long cave ahead of us. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Crowd paws are so damn OP, bro. Like, look at this! What is this? This isn't how the game was supposed to be made. Let's probe a hole, by the way. I feel like this is just a tiny bit too cheaty. Let's go back to the wolves. Nice, Bri. Oh, she's okay. We're gonna need healing after this too. Well, uh, that's the first healing of uh, the cave. Let's go and do that. Imagine having 21 levels. Like, oh my god, what? Oh boy, here we go. Back in the game, guys. Back in the game. Should have probably held, but oh well. So I do got to be extremely careful here because this is where one of the wolves did die the previous run. Yeah, this is the worst part in the entire cave right here where you have to walk down this little area because there's too many probe holes, I swear. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't think I want to risk it. I think I'm just going to pocket gig of this. Yay! It was good! Yeah, look, three probe holes right there. And then three more right here too. It's crazy. Just too many problems in this area. I got your back. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. Line them up and boom. Perfect. All of them made it. Now, what does this red drop have to offer me? Uh, is that a Brano platform saddle? Yeah, we grind that down. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That was bad. Am I okay? Well, I'm okay, but, um... Oh, shit! I didn't... Um... I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Y'all save me! Does a dire bear get his ass? 
Oh my god. Good thing I have godly armor, but that could have gone a lot better. Let's go back here. Let's go back here, gang. Uh oh, they're in. Okay. Uh, go ahead and pop, pop Giga all this. Push you on aggressive too. There we go. There we go. Much better. Thank you, Omnomasaurus. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Last couple of creatures. So I might as well show all the recording from here. Uh, saying that there's only going to be a couple more creatures. Uh, in fact, I should probably put them on aggressive. There we go. Please don't fall in the water. I don't want to have to go get you guys. There we go. Christmas creatures that look so cool. Uh, but in my opinion, I still think Easter mutated creatures are the best. They are. We actually did see quite a lot of cool creatures in this cave. And uh, we got a, quite a lot of uh, supply drops as well. And there is the artifact just straight up in front of us. Well, I am glad that creatures are just running off into the water. But how many parole holes wait for us? And how many dire bears at the end of the artifact wait for us as well? So there's only about 9,000 HP on the sire, but I think we're just going to push through uh, because, again, the artifact's just right there. We don't need heal right here. Unless, again, there's parole holes, but I don't think I see any this time around. In fact, let's go and bait this big monkey man over to us. All right, or we can just go in. That works too. No, no, no. Please don't push my dire off. That isn't... Oh, and they're off. Okay. All right, and uh, we are back up. So, let's see, is there any, let's hope there's no probable holes or no creatures just waiting for me inside this rock, because I know sometimes there can be. Um, alright, let's just dismount. Grab that, and get back on. You know what's weird? There's a monkey statue right here, right? And this is the Artifact of Strong. Artifact of Strong goes towards the dragon and not the Megapithecus, which is, like, if, if you're going to reference something, reference the dragon uh, out of, like, anything, you know? I, I, I don't know. That just seems like me, but you guys might have different opinions. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this cave before creatures start to spawn again. Uh, it was, you know, it's artifact is strong. It, it's it's a medium cave to do. Uh, but in my opinion, I do like to do it. It's fun. So I'll meet you guys over by the artifact of Skylord so we can finish up that our last land cave, and then we'll do the underwater cave. One yellow drop. That is a really nice fur cap. I seem to only get fur caps too. Um, I mean, I'm not really complaining about it, but is this one better? 314. Ah, right, yeah, this one's way better. Way, way better. And a blue drop for more cloth and just descendant trash. Yay. And here it is the entrance to the artifact of Skylord. Oh boy, it's very blue in here. I don't know how I feel about that. So yet again, the artifact is glitched, so I'll go to the location. I'm just going to spawn the artifact in. It's um, not going to be a hard artifact at all, unless I can make rabies and die, but that doesn't really seem too likely. Saying that, I got a OPS Darwolf. So again, this is where the artifact would normally spawn. See if I can just dismount uh, my dire wolf without getting stuck in the roof. And I got stuck in the roof. And there we go. Knocked out. Hopefully that worked. Ah, there we go. Yes, that did work. Uh, let's go and crowd pod you. So like I was saying, uh, artifact is broken in this cave, um, 100%. So, uh, did I get the command wrong? There we go. All right, there's the artifact of Skylord. So if you guys are curious, this is the command right here, GFI artifact underscore zero six space one space one space zero. But anyways, yes, that is a, the artifact of Skylord completed. Well, <laughs> technically completed. Can't really do the artifact, but sorry, have to cheat then. But yes, easy artifact. So I'll meet you guys underwater for the Basilos, uh, Balasaurus Blubber, and then we will do the artifact of Cunning. So stay tuned for more. And here is our first Balasaurus that we will take on in fights. So we can go ahead and, and buy just base stats. We do around 200 a bite, which is, um, it's it's okay. Let's just say that. Um, let's go ahead and actually 
how many hits do I need to... Alright, you're already showing blood. Good, 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 good. So you should die, like, right now? Thank you. Oh, we get two ballot source blubbers. Um, wait, does that mean it's all about RNG then? Uh, like, is there a chance that we cannot get the ballot source blubbers? I don't know. Anyways, we need 10. Uh, well, we need 8 now, but yes. We need 10 in total. So that is one battle source down. Um, I actually did have some levels on this creature. Went ahead and just mashed in the health. It's about uh, 3,000 hit into health. So we'll probably get around 40,000 HP before we do enter the cave. Um, and maybe a little bit more melee damage as well. I will be in Chronic as well inside the cave. Our uh, big red Moza. Uh, so we can help out. Hopefully there's no jellies around or no Tussos that grabs us off our mount too. In fact, I might just bring in the Balasaurus uh, and both those creatures would probably be a good play. And then, of course, just the main damage will be coming off of Chronic itself. Uh, and then whenever he gets Jelly Stunned or Tuso Grabbed, I guess I can help him out with the... What I mean doesn't take damage. It doesn't take Jelly Stuns or Tuso Grabs and, and uh, Eel Stuns as well. So that is all great. So, again, I'll meet you guys back when we find another Balasaurus. I don't know if I'm going to talk. I might just show the clip. But we need 10 of those yet again. So, yeah. That's basically it. I just ran myself into an Alpha, alpha Tuso. Uh, how fun is that? I have no clue how much health this thing has. But we're slapping its ass right now. Oh great, now he brought me in the mesh. Give me that ass. That's my ass. Give me that ass. Yeah, give me that ass. Level 100, by the way. Almost 100k. That is crazy. Um, num, 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 num. Num, 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 And here we go. The last Spallosaurus has just fallen. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that Megalodon kind of scared me a little bit. But there we go. We also killed an alpha, a couple alphas uh, during this run. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to base before we go ahead and do the cave because I do actually want to get the drops that Raptor Clauses give out because um, some of them have a very, very extremely OP loot. So I, I just got to get to the other side of the map really quick. Shouldn't really take too long, maybe three minutes, and then, uh, yes. Guess I'll show you some of the drops, too. And there is Raptor Claws. And there is Raptor Claws. Um, actually, I got really, really damn good RNG. Uh, he spawned over by my house, so, uh, awesome. Come on, man, and get down here. Christmas Eve is, in fact, tomorrow. So, what is the first gift? We got a chibi. Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta turn back on HUD. I don't know what chibi that was. Uh, nothing good in that. Uh, that looked like a Deodon chibi as well. That one just came with the worst crossbow blueprint I've ever seen. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to check that out though. Got lucky on this one. And that was a nice sword, too. Very, very good sword, actually. Anything good? Uh, Shinehorn, Shinehorn Chibi. Interesting. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of good things in here. Uh, although I don't think I will ever use them. Another one right here. What do we get? Nothing really that good. Megalania Chibi. Yeah, that looks to be the uh, last one. So let's go and get back at base and see what we got. Well, I made it back to the base with everything that we got from those drops. So let's go and check them out. Um, so we got three day on chibis. Uh, okay. And I believe this was a glow tail. I did take a look at it. Uh, it is very cute. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it on. Oh my gosh, it actually glows too. It. I'm using this thing. I might actually use this thing. Oh my god, it is so adorable. God. If you guys don't know, glow tails are definitely my favorite light pet. Uh, we also got a Shinehorn 2, uh, Megalania, we, and that's basically it um, for the most part. Uh, we did get some Apex drops, and we also did kill a couple Alphas, and we also got a lot of Black Pearls, so that is great news. We can put all this inside the vaults. 
So yes, we did get some tools as well, and a couple blueprints as well, like nice bow. God, that is extremely good. Uh, pistol's not bad, the sword was, sword was insanely OP. Um, another good boot blueprints. Um, simple pistol, and he here was the crossbow that I was looking at. What the hell is this? It's a 1.9 increase, and you want me to pay 900 metal for this thing? I don't care about the durability, bro. I care about damage, not durability. This is the most trash crossbow I've ever found, like ever. So as you guys can see here, we also got mistletoe and coal. Yes, coal. Um, and of course we got the battle source blubber. Let's go and put this in this bowl right here. So let's go and actually head over to the cooking pot because I do want to try something. I, I want to see what this coal is actually used for. And wow, there's actually quite a lot. Nice bra. Um, there, there is a lot of stuff in here. There is a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff. Ugly sweaters, beanies, and candy cane club skin. Uh, I think all these skins are already actually accessible too. Megalosaurus reindeer costume. Yes, we need this right now. And let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, we need this. We actually need this. Turn that on. And one of these, yes. <laughs> that is amazing. We gotta equip that. Uh, what else looks intriguing? Um, an ornament bola skin? I might want to get that. Electronics and fiber. And I also want this Christmas tree too. Uh, fiber and thatch. And there we go, cool. Everything that we need. Uh, let's go and throw this all in here. Click back on holiday. And let's see. Bolas, yes, I want one of those. And I also want a Christmas tree too. Uh, I don't know if it's like per every bola that you throw. Um, it takes it off, which would be kind of, I don't know, I don't know. Five electronics, uh, I, I don't know about that, but let's actually go ahead and put that this on a uh, bola. And here we go, let's go and put on the bolas. Oh, so it does snap on all 10. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually really cool, I like that. Um, can I split this? Oh, if I split it, it, uh, okay, okay, never mind. Well, what if I add back to this pile? Oh, that does work, okay. Uh, so you can basically have infinite of these. Um, very nice, let's actually go ahead and put this back inside the storage. There we go, that's way more in the center. And hello to a Christmas tree. Happy holidays to all. All right, cool. Now that that's out of the way, how beautiful is that? So, now that that's out of the way, uh, and we got most of the stuff for Dragon now. Actually, wait. Yes, we have everything except the Artifact of Cunning for the uh, Dragon. So let's go ahead and do the Artifact of Cunning. It is the underwater cave. Uh, the harder one, I mean. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll meet you guys over by the cave. And very similar to the Artifact of Strong, I will just show certain clips that I want to show. I should probably take a Dire Wolf too, but oh well. I got a ton of good creatures. Highly doubt they're going to die. Here we go. Cave of the Cunning. Um, honestly, this is probably my least favorite cave to do. I, I hate this cave, in uh, my opinion. Uh, it it's, it's, it's not. It's fun, but... It's very, um, sketchy. Very sketchy. This creature is extreme. Oh, by the way, yeah. Chronic is extremely very powerful. So, I don't think he's gonna die. He gets jelly stunned and my Basilo dies. Basilo didn't even get, like, much health on it. Uh, let's see if I can bait this jelly over. Or maybe I can dismount. Alright, never mind. That works. Actually, I want to make sure you're on passive, too. Before we go and start this. So, one to two hit on Megalodons is just absolutely beautiful. That's what I want to see. Let's see if I can go ahead and hit this jelly right here. There we go. I think there might be an alpha. There might be an alpha. Is this an alpha? No, it's just Megalodon pack. That's interesting as well. And let's see if I can kill this jelly. There we go. Any other creatures, really? I see a jelly up top. Uh, let's just run around, swim around, kill these Megalodons. I don't want to be doing this inside the cave, just rushing through. Um, yeah, I don't want to be doing that. I'd rather take my time and uh, kill my kill the creatures off one by one. 
So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut until I have something more than just back and forth uh, content to give, because this is basically what I'm gonna be doing for the next half hour. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I find any drops or anything like that. Um, any heavy creatures, plessies, not, uh, not plessies, but alphas, and uh, or tusos. So I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. 270 Moses, no match for me. Hey, you. Oh boy. Another one. I can't tell if I got pulled or not. It's just black. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Allosaurus, relax. There we go. So I can't get pulled off my mount by uh, Tuso's, which isn't really that good. Let's see. Tuso's coming in as well. Hopefully it's not that high. There we go. There we go. It's a 142, so cheese. And there we go. Basically clear out the whole area uh, up here. Uh, I'm not going to go adventure into the, well, just a little bit further. I already got the Explorer note back there, and I believe there would just be a couple more too, so it's just hanging out, uh, waiting for me. So I think I'll just go down here and uh, bite my way to victory. And yes, bite my way to victory. There is a ton of creatures in here, too. Always is, but let's see if I can turn my big-ass Moser around. And uh, there. There we go. So a couple jellies in here. Uh, nothing bad. Also, some eels coming in as well. Hopefully that I'm not... Ooh, please don't, please don't, please don't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My bite does a, a lot, a lot of damage. Um, very large amounts. Uh, it literally one hits jellies, which is very beautiful. Uh, because I believe, I believe I can get like two hits on them before they actually, you know, zap me off. And uh, one hit is all that I need. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and show all this, uh, the rest of this content, because there's not really much more than just this. Uh, just a, just a tunnel, basically. And then uh, one more tunnel. We just gotta push our way to victory yet again. And just om nom through all these creatures. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, you gonna go down? Thank you. We got an angler fish behind me, we don't have to fight it. But, uh, yes. So there was a couple Tussos in this cave. Uh, nothing too... Uh oh. Um... Let's see if I can turn around. Alright, we're just going into the cave. That works too. Okay, can we not go in? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, and I got jelly stun. Not now, jellies. Please don't do this. Let's put you on aggressive. Let's throw out to you. Hi, Balasaurus. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, and you are in. Okay. But anyways, like I was saying, the Tussos are very, very, um, very, very cool with the Christmas on it. Green Tussos, red Tussos are very, very awesome, in, uh, in my opinion, so. Who knows, maybe we can get more of those. Who knows. And there is the artifact, I can barely even see it, but it is definitely there, loudly. Woo! This artifact is, again, the worst artifact. Um, if you don't have the right sea creatures, and I can't even see a single thing, but here is the artifact. Proof that I've actually got it. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the vault, and uh, pick up a couple more things from the vault so we can actually start our little alpha fight. So uh, yes, guys, Alpha Megapithecus coming right up next. So I'll see you guys right over at the terminal. Oh, yikes. This is definitely a yikes. Even though it is only the Megapithecus, it is still Alpha. Um, single player yet again, of course, is turned off, but there is everything for all three fights. If we even want to do all three fights. Nah, we're just going to do Alpha. But uh, <laughs> here we go, guys. The final thing that we're going to do today, let's go and get it started. Oh boy. Yeah, all Rex is ready. Some of the food's actually gone uh, because they were actually weakened in the fight. Of course they were. Uh, let's actually try to find one of the Reapers and pop on its back. Spawn up here, maybe. Uh, where's the other Reaper? There you are. Alright. So, I don't think we're going to get the full batch of Rexes in here. Some of them do look pretty phased out of the teleporter, but 
Who knows? They actually might teleport. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Megapithecus. Let's see you at your best. Oh boy, here we go. So first things first, let's go and throw on a fur helmet. Something that we actually got from Artifact of Strong. There we go. Yes, I see you. Oh my god, look how fast he is. Uh... Look how fast he is. Here, here. Let's actually put our creatures back on uh, passive for now. In fact, I'll signal them go to go into the corner. There, just go to the corner, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> we got We got to mess around with this. Um... Ooh, I almost called him a gi <laughs> Gigantopithecus for a second, but oh boy, look how fast he is! Oh, he sees us. He's mad. Uh, let's see how much damage we do. Ooh, don't, don't. Don't do that. I don't like that. I don't I don't like he's so fast. He's so quick. Alright guys, just get in there, I guess. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Let's just see if we can bring his health down fast enough without any Rex casualties. Uh, and we're doing great so far. Only we're about 10% down. These are a shitload of Rexes, by the way. Not shit Rexes, but you know, but just a lot of Rexes. Let's say. And uh, there we go. All Rexes are in. Eating his ass out. Clean. Hi, monkey. How are you? So yet again, I don't know if I can actually get hit by the water. Uh, like my character, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So again, he's about doing 500 each slam he does. And he does do the slam semi-fast. About 20-30% uh, uh, health loss right now. Tons of damage numbers popping up, of course, and uh, we are doing a good amount of work currently. Let's see if I can actually get behind them, so none of my Rexes actually do uh, fall off into the abyss. There we go. There we go. I'm behind now. Uh, so what's the Rex's health at? This one's still nearly max, and the Megapithecus is roughly half health. I'm going to actually go ahead and turn off HUD for now, and look for any creatures that have blood on them. Which I think that is, in fact, a no. Well, perfect then. Um, we are definitely going to win this fight, 100%. I don't see any Rex that actually has some blood on it. Actually, I do. This one down here. Oh, actually, no, I do see a couple. But, uh, we are still doing a great job right now. About 25% left on the Megapithecus. Dropping down to 20 very, very fast. So much damage numbers popping up. He cannot. He just cannot stand up uh, on his own two legs. Let's just keep eating them out. So I will be showing all this content in. Uh, just, you know. I don't know. It's entertainment, let's just say. And as I say that, the Megapithecus drops to 5% HP and lowers even faster. With only seconds away from him dying. And there we go. Alpha Megapithecus has been defeated. Some of the Rexes do look uh, a little bit hurt, although since single player is turned on, that was a good saddle Rex. Let's try to find a Rex without a good saddle. This one, back here. Yes, this one lost half health. Um, we are filling out the tech engrams as well as we move along. Very, very beautiful. Extremely nice as well. We definitely will crowdpot all these uh, before we start the dragon fight in the next episode. But guys, I am going to the end of the episode here. This was a beautiful episode in my opinion. We did a lot. We did a lot of adventuring. We did cave diving. And we did boss fighting as well. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy this content, these videos take a really long time to make. So a like is always appreciated. It always helps out my channel. And well, yes, I will see you all in the next video of the dragon.